Let's talk about different types of authority and how to tell which is which. First up is personal authority. This kind of authority comes from someone with a lived experience. Because of that, the resources these people create are almost always written or spoken in first person, using I and we statements. And often they're pretty informal. We encounter this kind of information all the time, most commonly in social media posts, blogs, and personal conversations. As a researcher, you may also come across them in the form of diaries, journals, or letters. Next, there's professional authority from people who maybe haven't lived the experience, but have encountered the topic in their professional lives. These resources are usually medium in length and include some jargon, words specific to their profession that aren't common in everyday language. Most commonly, these are articles published on professional websites or in professional journals. Next up, journalistic authority from reporters or activists. These are people who have done a little research on the topic, but are not experts. They're also writing for people who aren't experts. So these resources are usually short and easy to understand and often have a lot of ads. They're very common. You'll usually find them in general magazines, newspapers, and news websites. And last but not least, academic authority comes from people who have done in-depth research on the topic, usually professors or maybe graduate students. Because they've done so much research, these resources are usually very long and can be difficult to understand. They often use a lot of jargon, and they almost always include citations. Most often, you'll find them in books and scholarly journal articles. Now that you know how to spot different types of authority, you'll know what kind of information you're looking at when you encounter different resources. And from there, you can figure out how much to trust or not trust the information inside of it.